music I music has always kind of like punctuated every big event in my life there's always something that I relate back to music and I don't know whether it's me or whether it's something that everyone does. It has a way perhaps of just lodging in, in your memory and, and sitting there kind of you know it sort of let, lets you go about your business lets you um, you know carry on your life but it's there and and if you're ever to sort of happen upon it again inadvertently it it's like it's activated then. It can be really really powerful when you listen to a song and it expresses a certain feeling that you might be feeling and just haven't been able to put in that way and you just listen to it and think, oh, yeah, that's exactly how I feel. You're kind of sitting there at home trying to figure out whether you should go to a party or not and, you know, in your late teens or whatever and a lot of the time you end up meeting this person that will have a massive role in your life and it, it, you know, it was that close to you missing each other entirely. I, I thought she was rather an attractive young lady, so I went up to her as, as young men do and um, was like, hi, you know, how are you doing? Introduced myself um, and we had a, a bit of a conversation. I was a little, a little bit uh, drunk. I had been talking to him that night for a really long time. Like, we'd been sitting there having this chat for, I don't know, like half an hour, an hour or something like that. And then, um, you know, went off and sort of respectively talked to other people and whatever. And then just as we were leaving, he comes and sits next to me. I think he actually had his arm around Lucy at the time. He comes and sits next to me and says... said, hi, um, just been meaning to introduce myself. Um, my name's Matt. She's like, yeah. And I'm like, oh, so what's your name? Matt, it's Delaney. We talked for like an hour <laughs> earlier on. I was like, oh, right. This is embarrassing.